What's good y'all, your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got some unfortunate news, but we kind of knew it was going to happen. Apparently, Bobby Lashley is gone from WWE. We knew that uh, he had some, you know, some issues with how things were going on creative side. We also heard that he didn't, uh, they didn't reach some type of agreement with the contract, restructuring his contract. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. As of me filming this, this is on Friday, Friday the uh, the 16th. Um, he is no longer a part of WWE. We're going to check this out. I believe there's an article talking about it, so we're going to get right into this one. Appreciate all the love and support. It's a very unfortunate situation. Let's get right into it. It's by uh, Sports Kita. Former WWE champion officially gone from the company ahead of SmackDown. WWE recently made a noticeable change on the superstar section of their website, officially confirming that recent widespread reports Bobby Lashley is no longer with the company. Following weeks of speculation over his future, the almighty has been moved to alumni section on WWE.com. Lashley's contract allegedly expired last weekend with him and a few other superstars being removed from the company's internal roster a few weeks ago. He was, um, on the SmackDown roster on the website until it got updated today. Bobby Lashley's former manager, MVP, has also left WWE. He even made an appearance at GCW Bloodsport to challenge Josh uh, Barnett to a match. Meanwhile, the Almighty is recovering, uh, recovering from an injury he suffered during the, the company's uh, tour of France one month after WrestleMania 40. This is on Twitter, Wrestle Purist. Bobby Lashley has now been moved to the alumni section on the WWE roster page. When he did not disclose what his injury was, Lashley confirmed he had to undergo surgery following a freak accident during a match in France. The former world champion was told he'd be out for six months. He plans on returning to action as soon as possible, although it isn't known where he will show up next. Bobby Lashley was a success in WWE. Lashley booking wasn't always the most consistent, but he remained a major star throughout his run in the company. The Almighty became a main inventor in 2021 thanks to no small part of the formation of the Hurt Business. While the faction dissolved quickly, Bobby Lashley won the WWE Championship twice. However, the past few years weren't the greatest for him. Despite being one of the most overstars on Raw and SmackDown, Lashley had was made to play a secondary role. This was on WrestleOps. Bobby Lashley has now uh, now departed WWE. Lashley has been removed from the company's active roster and as a result is now a free agent and can sign anywhere at any time. While a potential Hurt Business reunion was scrapped, the Almighty led uh, another group the Almighty led another group, Bobby Lashley, and the Street Profits were together for a year but failed to do anything of note aside from their WrestleMania match against the Final Testament. Will the Hurt Business reunite in AEW or elsewhere? Leave your predictions using the discussion below. So, but yeah, we knew it was on the way. It's unfortunate. It's actually, you know, one of those things where when you really think about it, the guy definitely was a top talent, and it's kind of crazy to say, and some may not want to admit it, but under Vince McMahon's uh, regime, for the most part, for the most part, there was some duds. We can't forget the whole Bobby Lashley, Sami Zayn, Bobby having sister stuff. That shit was awful, and the line of stuff, awful. But for the most part, they treated him like a star. He did win two WWE championships under the Vince era. And it, it just seems like Triple H didn't really have much for him. And I I have to give criticism there because I do think you can you could you should have did something. When they were going to turn the street profits heel and align themselves with Bobby, I was like, yes. And then they didn't do nothing. They 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 didn't give them enough momentum where you can buy into it. We wanted to see it. I don't know what happened. I got to give some criticism on uh, to Triple H on this one. I think he dropped the ball. I think Bobby Lashley is a, a, a main player that you can have. He's not the best on the microphone. That's fine. 
but the guy has the look and he can go in the ring. He can give you a, a solid match and you can believe in in what he does. You can believe he's a credible threat and he was over with the fans. He was. So that's why I'm saying they had something and they didn't capitalize on it. I, I'm, what? I would have loved to have seen another uh, go against you know Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley. You know, I would have loved to have seen that. If you would have built up the Street Profits, and it would have made sense, you built up the Street Profits with Bobby Lashley trying to take down the bloodline. That could have been that could have been a good uh, feud, but they didn't do it. Not really. They didn't really play into it. I don't know. I don't know. I just think, you know, and I know they planned on doing something with him and Bray Wyatt at uh, WrestleMania 39, but Bray ended up getting, you know, he uh, he was dealing with an illness, a medical situation. So that's why we never got that match. And that's why he never was on WrestleMania that year. So unfortunate circumstances, but I just think it's Bobby Lashley. The guy has the look. He's over. I don't, I don't let him slide down you know, slide out the company like that. That's just my personal opinion. You got to find something for him. He deserves to have some type of feud, some type of situation. If you even want to put him in title contention, you can. And when they would put him in title contention, guess what? He wouldn't win. So I don't know. But comment down below. Let me know. Where do y'all think Bobby Lashley will go? Uh, what, what company y'all think he'll be with? Uh, the rumors are maybe AEW. The thing is, I just don't want him to get lost in the shuffle. That's the only thing. I don't want him to go to AEW to be over for a month and then that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the guy deserves to be at the top because, you know, he has the look of a top champion. He can. He's pretty solid in the ring. He can give you some good matches with the right opponent. You know, he may not be the best talker, but, you know, they had something with the Hurt Business and he, Vince kind of just scrapped that for no reason. I don't even know why. So, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation. Where do y'all think he's going to go and, you know, and um, how things will plan out for him. But I'm wishing him nothing but success in the future. You know what I'm saying? Wherever he goes, he'll he'll definitely be a good name to add to their roster. But I appreciate all love support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.